Hello folks. I've just done a video that then when I went to do the title I realised ah <laughs> Yeah, I then got something else that I thought I should have put in that video really because now I understand it is different while I'm doing the title so better do the video again. Yeah. Anyway, so okay, let's start again. So yes, early on I was thinking about um the subject recently about two trees and all of that and I understood at that point in time that it had started with the tree of knowledge of good and evil with the choosing to partake of that tree or well, the fruit of that tree choosing to partake of the fruit of that tree yes and the fruit is knowing good and evil judging according to that and yeah as i point out recently yeah the word of god is used very much very often in doing that you're yeah, using the word of god to operate according to the tree of knowledge of good and evil which is a bit bizarre to say the least i mean it's it's you could say it's evil <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you could say it's evil because they're using the word of God to partake in an activity that God says do not partake in. Yeah, back in Genesis, God says do not touch that tree. Now, at no point in time has God changed his mind and said, "Nah, go on, you can, you can partake in that tree. Don't worry about it." didn't happen at no point in time has God actually changed his mind and said no you can partake of that tree so we're all happily partaking of that tree not realizing that, that God never said we could he said we shouldn't and all the crap the world's in is because we did and yet we're still doing that okay yeah so I mean yeah again I'm um, thinking about this, thinking, how did we not know this? It's obvious. Like the video I did the other day, talking about the fact that the trees are still on earth. The tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The Eden is still. You know, God hid it, but it's still on earth. Well, it says it in the Bible, so, you know, do we believe it or not? Yeah, you know, so, yeah, anyway, the point of this one is, is it started with that, it's going to end with people choosing to partake of the fruit of the tree of life and to no longer partake of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Yeah. Well, because this is the point. With both trees, you have fruit and you have seed. With the tree of life, its fruit and seed is life. With the tree of knowledge of good and evil, its fruit is knowing good and evil, but its seed is death. And so whenever you partake in its fruit and start pushing that out, you are sowing death. This is where it becomes a bit ridiculous, really. And this is where the stupidity of church as it is or has been comes quite ridiculous. You can be sharing the word of God, but sharing it in a way that's according to the knowledge of good and evil. Therefore, you are, sh you are spreading death at the same time as you are spreading life. Or 
We've got to realise our job is not to spread death. Go look at Genesis. Go look at what God said about it. That tree. Go look at the consequences of partaking of its fruit. It's there. The consequences are there. But again, I think it's it's wonderful in the fact. Look, the past is the past. It is. When it comes down to it, you know, if if we are not doing things according to that tree, we're not pointing out the crap of the past. We're not pointing out the wrongs and the rights, and because that's knowledge of good and evil. So we're not going to do that. But the fact that there is life ahead, the fact that we can still choose to partake of the tree of life. And we can stop partaking as a tree of knowledge of good and evil. And that's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So there you go. We have a positive ending ahead of us. So we are in incredibly wonderful, beautiful, fantastic times. Yeah. So, have a fantastic week. Be blessed, be a blessing, and enjoy. And start learning how to be of his nature because, yeah, that's what we need. You take care. God bless. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.